Right, let's have a nice cosy install of Arch Linux. No fuss, no problem, nice and relaxed. On a cozy sump, or what? A cozy sofa. Should be nice and easy. And uh, hopefully, I won't mess it up. But if I make mistakes, don't worry. If you make mistakes, don't worry. We can fix them. I can fix them. You'll be able to fix them. Just follow along. You'll learn something. You'll have a system that's up and running. I don't know how long this will take, but it will take as long as it takes. Right. So, what do we need first? So, we need a bootable media, like on a USB key. So I'm looking at the Arch Wiki, this is your installation for Arch Linux. First of all we need to download it. So let's go and download it. Download the ISO. Mm -hmm. I'm just going to download it from Mirror. It really doesn't matter. Just UK. UK Mirror. Somewhere. Netherlands. Oh gosh. So this doesn't take too long. We just want to get set up and running. Okay, that will do. That's the ISO. First November. Okay. That's downloading. Oh, we've got to wait. What we can do is get the US while it's done, let's get a USB key ready. Because you're gonna need a USB key. To be able to install it. Let's have a look. There you go, USB key. So I'm going to start getting this ready. So the ISO that's downloading now is going to be put onto here. But we want to do a special command. If you're on Windows, there is an instruction for it. I'm not going to go through it because, well, I'm not on Windows anyway. I'm doing this from Linux. But if you're on Linux, just follow me through this or follow the instruction. I can't help you with that one on Windows, but we'll do Linux. Oh, it's so difficult to get that stupid thing in. Right. Let's have a look. Okay, so make sure you find the right thing. So I know this is a USB key because if I pull it out and I run this command, let's be okay. No USB key. Plug it in. Let's be okay. There you go. SDB1. That's important because you don't want to write over your system as you're using it. Obvious. How are we doing this download? Oh, nearly there. Nearly there. 40 seconds left. Oh, this is, this, these are the things that take most of the time. It's just waiting around. Anyway. Okay. So I've got the command ready. It's going to take some time as well. Where are we? Let's find that away. Okay, nearly there, nearly downloaded. No, oh, it's so exciting, isn't it? Not. Okay, that's downloaded. So, what we gotta do? We need to run this command against our USB key, so that'll be SDB. So let's, I'm just going to copy this. Just copy it. I can't bother to type it out. All right. So make sure you've got the right device. So I know it's SDB, and we're writing against SDB, the device, not SDB1, which is a partition. SDB. Yours might be different. Yours might be something else. You've got to check. Find out. So, then I've got to find the correct version of Arch. 
So this will be whatever folder it's in. So let's go home. I think it's in downloads. Yeah, there you go. So it's auto completed that. Obviously, you've got to find, make sure you get the right one, the right file, and remember the USB. And then when you're ready, hopefully, just hit enter. Oh, I've got to run it with sudo. So there we go. Looks like it's starting. And that's going to take as long as it takes. I don't, I don't really know. I know, it's a great start to a video. So exciting. I promise it will get better from here. Maybe I'll just cut this bit out. I don't know. Do I cut this bit out? What do you think? You won't know if I cut it out. So, Right, well, let's look at what we've got next to do. So, we've got the ISO, got the Arch Linux file basically. We're copying it to our USB key that we'll need to boot up. If I go through in a minute, still doing it. Okay, okay. Now, there are a few things that are just annoying, to be honest. I won't lie. Certain things are just, they should be standardized on here, but they're not. I don't know why, but they're not. Anyway, still going, still going. I know, I know, it's boring. But once you have your install, you're not going to worry about all this stuff. It'll just be installed, it'll just be working, and then we can get into the proper configuration in new videos. We're just going to get this done as soon as possible. Now how long this is going to take? Oh, maybe I should have some water. Have some water, have some water. Oh, do you wish you were doing something better with your time? Out of focus. Yeah, I'm not auto-focusing. Sorry. I am not auto-focusing that. Still going? Still going? Oh. Man, this isn't fun, is it? It's surely got to edit this and take up most of the video. Jeez. Oh, come on. So slow. What, it's just like five minutes already? At least you only have to do this once, hopefully. If you mess it up, I'm sorry. If I mess it up, well, I mess it up, but no, it's going to be fine. It's, ah, done. Like magic. Okay, so. I should now have, yeah, I guess that's right, <laughs> I don't know, right, anyway, so I've got to set up a virtual machine for this, but what you're going to do, is once that's done, you're going to take your USB key, and you need to restart your computer, when it boots up, you need to get into the BIOS F1, F2, F12, I don't know what it is for you. It's going to be whatever it is for your computer. And you just need to set the boot instruction to your USB as your first boot. So it's going to boot up into this USB. Not your hard drive, not anything else, unless you've got something specific that's going to boot into the install. You need your USB. Simple as that. hope that makes sense. Again, it's going to be different for everyone, but it's usually F1, F2 when you restart your computer. And I'll show you what it's going to look like in a minute. I've just got to set up this virtual machine. This is my way of doing it because I'm recording. So, just do this. So boring. So boring. Alright. 
cool. I guess I'm doing this right. Yep, I'm doing this right. Too, uh, taking up most of my time. It's not good. Not good at all. Yeah, that will do. I'll do. Should I make it forty? Let's make it forty. Let's future proof this. Okay. Yeah, that looks good. Whatever. Right. Here we go. Here we go. This is what you want. So it's going to look something like this. Okay. Hit enter. Oh, I hope this works. I'm going to look stupid. Yeah, that's looking good. So it's going to go through all this startup stuff. So it's just booting up a. Well, you know, basically booting up a system. Uh, take a few minutes. Hopefully, not too many minutes. Okay. Looks like we're in. Right, let's go on the guide. See what we do. Right, so you boot it in, and we want to go down. All right, so let's set the keyboard local. Should I copy this? Whatever. Local ECTL. Local ECTL. There we go. Uh, list key maps. I know what mine is anyway. Just look through here, whatever your key map is, so D for German, whatever, I don't know. Mine is just load keys UK. So yeah, my keys are working correct. Yours should too. Right, let's set a terminal font because you probably can't read this anyway. You get your micro um, your microscope out. You just want to be able to see it. What's the point of an install? You can't see it. All right, one, three. This is this will do. One, three, two, B. There we go. Look at that. That's much better. All right. If you're using UEFI, which is like most laptops and computers after like 2012, you can check it with this. I'm I'm not using UEFI because I'm using ThinkPad from like 15 years ago, so I don't need any of this. Just check it basically because you'll have to run a different command if you're running UEF EFI rather than legacy BIOS. I know it's exciting, right? Next, if you're running over LAN, so if you cabled up for the internet, just run what IP link. Annoyingly, I'm not, and so what I'm going to do. Is I've one of two things now. I think I've got this network configuration for the internet thing. So MCLI. No, I haven't. MCLI. No. No. So I've got to use IWCTL. Great. Great. So much fun. IWCTL. Okay. How do I use this thing? I can't remember. Alright, device list, so you've done that command IWCTL, you're in this prompt here, IWD, All right? so if you're using a Wi-Fi card, this is what you want to use. We're not going to use this for the install, this is just for this. Oh, I can't take them to long do this. Whatever. Is this right? I don't even know. I don't even know. A device list? Surely I've got a device. Um, oh, okay. Name scan. Station name scan. Station. Anyway, follow just just follow these tracks. I'm using a virtual machine, so. Okay, maybe that's why. Station name get my, this is going well. Isn't it? I haven't got any devices, and you're going to probably have devices. So you, you basically, if you've got a device, 
what you need to do is do station so it will show up here devices do station and then the name of the thing so I know WLC0 I don't even know what it is these days um, what's the command to there's no fun is it there's no fun whatsoever so what is the command to look at the networks it is um, Uh, press uh, uh, whatever. Anyway, it'd be something like that, and then so that's your device. So that's your wireless card name, basically. And then get networks, is it? Yeah, and then connect to the network. Put in your password. It's all it's all there, basically. I know this is not not fun is it if you're trying to install this but you'll be fine you'll be fine maybe maybe you won't <laughs> just just follow the instructions it's all here oh so bad right i think i've got um, internet Oh man, this isn't good, is it? This is not good. Not doing well. Uh, this is not good. Uh, what am I doing? What am I doing? Using the wrong commands. That's what I'm doing. I wonder if I've got internet. Okay, I've got internet because I'm on whatever you call it. What am I on? What am I on? I'm on a virtual machine. I know this is probably driving you mad, but anyway, just bear with me. So that, use ping, google, .co.uk, that'll tell you if you've got internet. So if you did the IWD stuff, I can't do it because I'd have to stall it on the bare metal and I'm, I'm installing it on a virtual machine. I'm sorry. Right, so you connect it to the internet, that's important. Alright, let's update the system clock, which is time date CTO. Yeah. Okay, that's that. That's done. Let's come on, let's go. Need to move on. F disk. I'm not using F disk for that. Alright, so this is the device I've got. Yours again will be whatever it is, it will be like your hard drive or whatever, so it might be SDA. Or whatever it is that's what you're going to install it on oh, again this is virtual so mine's VDA whatever so just run LSB okay don't worry about F disk for that you can use F disk for something else and this is the fun part because I'll probably screw this up All right here you go so F disk and I want dev VDA that's what I want Yours will probably be, again, SDA, whatever hard drive, just make sure you, you're doing it on the right one. Make sure you've backed up your data before you're doing this as well. God, I hope you backed up your data, because if you haven't, then that's not good. Back up your data, then delete the disk. Got it? Right, good. Right. Now, this is where it gets a load of fun. So, you you got the boot. And uh, I'm not doing swap. Swap I'm not going to go into. It's just a waste of time. You want your root petition, your boot petition. That's basically it. So, that's got to remember how to do this. You should think it'll be fine, I think. Okay. So, if I get this right way around. Okay. So. So F disk. So obviously, before we even do anything, we need to clear this disk. So make sure you back to run up, and then we're just going to go D, D whatever. We want a new. Just hit enter, and the first partition hit enter. First sector, just hit enter, and then the last sector we want plus one gigabyte. What do you use it? 
Yeah, that's all you need. A gigabyte. This is going to be like your boot petition, I think. Again, it's a while since I don't. But anyway, just hit enter. Yeah, whatever. And then we want another new petition. Just hit enter. And then this one. Just hit enter. Enter. And I'll just fill up the thing. I think this is taking a second to set up. Right. Oh, there we go. Perfect. All right, then we need to hit W to write it, make it possible. Okay, done, done. We're getting somewhere, we're getting somewhere. Right, now we want to make our um, partitions. So, again, we want to make it... Let's have a look at that. So as you can see, I've got my boot petition, root petition. This is important. I I'll probably mess this up. I hope I don't. But right. So first of all, we want MKFS, and I'm just going to do it this way around because I'll probably mess it up. Uh, I'm just going to do it. Dot FAT. This is this is for your boot petition, I think. And I'm just doing it. This this is fine. You don't have to do it like this. And then dev, and then whatever yours is, EFI system petition. Again, it's just it's just the one gigabyte one basically. So VDA one uh, keys. Okay, Hit enter. Hopefully that's right. I think that's done it. I it come up with an error. And then we want. Okay, now we want your file system, which is going to have your root partition. This is important. MKFS.ext4. Oh, what have we got here? ext4. Okay, and then so this is going to be a dev VDA2. Okay. Oop, I've done it wrong. What have I done wrong? What have I done wrong? MKFS EXT. There we go. Right, that's done. So we've done that bit. Right, now we've got to mount them. So mount the root volume to mount. Okay. So root is going to be. Root is going to be. It's going to be the bigger bit. That's all we need to know. So. Mount. Well, this is supposed to be easy, right? Dev. Root petition is what is a VDA two. Okay. And then just put on mount. I guess so. I hope this is right. I think it'll be fine, it'll be fine. If it's not, my bad. Okay. Try that. Mm, I guess that's right. Uh, okay. It's gotta be right, it's the arch wiki. Anyway. Right, then we want this one. I'm not doing swap. Can I copy that in? No. Right, so now we want to put our boot petition. It's important. So that's going to be the SDA1, right? B B D A1. Damn. What am I doing? Right, this is going mount again, but we're creating boot. Uh, and I need to create a f the, uh, the directory for it. Yeah, MKDIR, MKD. So that's creating the directory boot. Don't worry about this stuff. <laughs> really doesn't matter. You'll never think about it again. Oh, I'm trying to forget about it. Anyway, I hope this is right. Oh, I think that's right. I think that's right. Who cares? Anyways, make sure we're getting further on. Can't be here forever. Okay, mirrors. Install. Oh, God. Who cares? Who cares about mirrors? Okay. 
Guess I've got to use Nano as well. Okay. D. Oh, D. Mirror list. I think that's it. Oh, I hate Nano. Nano is just. It's just because you guys aren't going to understand. Basically, what you do is you copy this. You basically all you want to do is it's so much easier with them, but. If you're watching this install, you probably don't know how to use them. Sorry, you probably don't. So you basically you want to put the places that are nearest to you. So if you Germany, you'd have DE, and you'd move that up. So I'm obviously UK, so I want London higher up. So you just want the servers. You want the servers that are highest up. So I'm, I'm just going to them into that. Because you're going to use Nano, but Vim's is better, it just is. So I I want London higher. So I move London up. There's another UK mirror. There you go. see, that's basically it. Right, quit. Okay, do it however you're going to do it, but that's basically it. Don't worry too much about it. It's probably not going to matter unless you're in like middle of nowhere. <laughs> I don't know. Anyway, that's done. I think that's all we need to worry about at the moment. Okay, this is where we starting to build a system right. So we want to pack strap. Okay, so we're going to use this command here. Pack strap, pack strap. Okay, M and T base so we're putting these into our root partition again you're probably thinking what is he talking about it doesn't matter just go along with it so we want base we want linux linux firmware oh you know what? just put nano in there because you're going to want nano as a text editor in the future put in vim if you're going to use vim we also need network manager, install network manager definitely. Base devel, just install base devel. That's again just just go with what I'm doing. There's probably others, I hope I'm not forgetting something. Anyway, just go with that. Right, it's doing stuff. I, I hope I've done this right. Taking its time. It's taking its time. Anyway, this is probably gonna take some time. And I'll probably have to skip through this bit because it's boring. Oh yeah, Linux firmware. Did I put that on there? Yeah. I hope I put Linux on there, not just Linux firmware. That would have been stupid, wouldn't it? I guess I'll check in a minute. Anyway, I don't know how long this video is going to last. Oh my god, it should be quick. It should be quick. Oh, so much fun, isn't it? Look at this. Building the distribution. Stuff's happening. Yeah, I'm gonna probably run out of time on this record in a minute. I'm just gonna pick up in a minute. Oh, can you believe it? Can you believe it? Already gone half an hour. Okay, so your main system should have installed the kernel, some other packages that it says, 
this is the stuff you need really and if I didn't put it there already you probably want something called base to fill which I think it's already done so install that base to fill if it's not going to take too long Let that install. Come on, come on. This has gone on long enough. Okay. Nearly done, nearly done. Nearly done. Done. Right, where are we next? Okay, let's move on. Let's get on with this. Right, so we need to generate the boot for the partitions or whatever it is and this just tells the, the boot where to go to find the unique numbers of your boot partitions something like that you can read up the documentation really really boring anyway all right hopefully i've done this right hopefully i've done that right what does that look like gen f s tab u yeah whatever Let's see what happens Okay, that looks good, and we can check that. Don't know why we need to. No, it's under MNT, etc. I guess that's right. That looks like something. Whatever. Right, next one. Uh, right, so now we need to actually go into the system properly. We weren't actually in in the um the new partitions believe it or not i know that might not make any sense but just trust me on this just do what it says and oh, i spelled that no i haven't right ch root not shoot there we go so now the prompt has changed we're in the actual system so what do we want to do now we want to do this so this is going to sync the the clock or whatever so ln which is link soft link sf dash sf user share god so boring so region info so what am i going to be i'm going to be uh what britain no europe yeah, it's just a Europe, London, whatever. And then that's going to be linked against our local time on our system. Not that. Local time. If I can spell right. Okay, that should do it. Right, then we want to do run hardware clock. So HW assist. OHC whatever Hit enter that's done what now what now come on come on let's go localization okay so this is your local uh, I don't know what you, local um, UTF which is like the encoding or whatever uh, uh, who cares right locale gen uh -huh. So generate that, whatever. All right, then we've got create locale thing. So use nano and then whatever. I'm going to use vim because I can't use nano, I hate it. It's just impossible. Locale.gen. No, not locale.com. Uh, 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 does that look right? I guess so. Yeah, that'll do. Right, then we want lang equals uh, I can't remember. I think mine's GB or UK is GB, isn't it? Yeah. Um, I probably should have done this another way around, but whatever. You can find the actual ones, but oh, I don't know. I think it's this. I think it's this EN that gb no 
GB dot UTF eight dash eight. Yeah, okay, that'll do. Okay, that's done. What next? What next? Okay, next one. This is again your keyboard for when you boot up, so you'd have to keep doing load keys. So we are going to use nano if you want to use nano. I'm going to use vim and etc. Uh, v console, v console.com. Yeah. And oh, key map equals UK. That's it. Nothing else for me. You will be whatever you will be. Uh, what now? Create hostname file. Okay. So again, you can do nano. I'm doing vim, etc. Hostname. So this is just the name of your computer. So what's your hostname going to be? I'm just going to call this. Uh, YouTube testing. Oh, that's quite long. YouTube test. Whatever. That'll do. That's what mine's called. Call yours laptop, Arch, Linux. I don't know. Whatever you want to do. Alright. Um, I'm probably forgetting things here, but again, it's not the end of the world. We can look at all this stuff. I might just do another video after this because this is going to go on forever. Just, just get, get this thing going. Can't be doing this forever. Nearly done. All right, what's the next? Uh, okay. This is not necessary. It's not YouTube because whatever. Okay, so this is not necessary, basically. Whatever. Right now we create a root password. So pass wd uh, right and then come up with some password. Okay, that's done. We should really actually install user. Hmm. Hmm. Okay. No, we're not doing that yet. We'll do that next video. Oh, now we've got the fun bit. Stupid thing we've got to do here. Oh my god. Okay. Okay. So we've got to basically tell the system to boot up the petition, blah, blah, blah. Um, now, if you're using UEFI, you need to do. Um, one of these, one of these, this one, hey. anyway, it's somewhere on here, what is it, target, uh, oh, where is it, where is it, okay, so UFEI system, you got to do something like this, no, right? Oh, it's so boring. Where? Uh, oh, is that it? Yeah, something like that. So you got to basically do that. you got to do that. But I don't have to do that because I'm on BIOS. So all I've got to do, I think, I think... Mm, yeah. Yeah, I think I know. I think I've got it. So you do your one for UEFI. I just need to do this one, I believe. Mm. Yeah, that looks right. Okay. I'm going with it. It's just so long since I've done this. Alright. Did I install Grub? I don't know. I don't know. Okay, let's just do this. Grub install target hmm, equals I386. Okay. 
dash pc dev Ooh. Uh, okay then it's not the petition so don't do VDA1 or SDA1 or whatever just VDA or SDA or SDV whatever it is whatever the thing you've been set up your whatever basically you know what I'm talking about or you don't okay that didn't work install. probably because I need to install grub laughable um, or I spell it wrong still grab and still okay let's try uh, grub yeah so I need to install grub there you go so you need to install grub pseudo so sudo pack man dash s grub okay let's try it again there we go see no problem told you I'd make mistakes no problem right let's get a stupid thing done oh my god oh my god okay no don't want that oh, what is that there mm, okay right then we want this this makes the configuration file more typing grub Nearly done, nearly done. MK config. MK config. Dash O. Boot. Yeah, because it's booting. Yeah, okay. Mm hmm, mm hmm. Grub.cfg. Does that look right? Let's try that. Oh, beautiful, beautiful. Right, let's get out of here. Let's get out of this. It's driving me mad. All right, exit by typing exit. So once that's all done, just type exit to get out of that. So you're out of that cheroot, whatever it's called. All right, you can unmount all the petitions. So use that U mount. Oh, I hope this works. I hope this works. I hope this works. It's all been a waste of time. Uh, okay. Right, and then just type reboot. Obviously, you can take your USB key or whatever out at the at the boot screen or before the boot screen. Basically, you, you don't want to boot into your installation media. You want to install into your installed system. So that's what I'm going to do. Let's see if this works. See if this works. Oh, it's looking good. It's looking good. Oh, it's looking good right yeah so let's type in your password no type in your user oh my god Okay, so type in your user, so it's root, type in your password, and we're logged in. There you go, look at that, perfect. Uh, I'm not going to go through all the stuff setting up, okay, I'll just do that in the next video. You won't have to wait long, just bear with, because you don't want to sit for another video this long. Right, anyway, I hope that was <laughs> useful. <laughs> Congratulations, you've got a blank screen and no operating system to do anything with yet, but the next video, it'll be fine. You'll have the basics, I promise. Anyway, that's it. Whatever. Relax. Have a good day. Blah, blah, blah. Like, comment, subscribe. That's the fake YouTuber thing, isn't it? Yeah. Whatever. Okay. That's it.